Welcome to Total Chaos, brought to you by Picks and Parlays. I'm Ellie Burns, and with me today is Kurt Alexander. We're going through week nine, five free college football picks on the over or the under. Kurt, let's get things started. Let's go, Allie. I'm totally ready for Total Chaos. <laughs> All right. Number 23, Iowa State is at Kansas. The total is 52 and a half. Allie, I'm taking this game over because Iowa State has a pretty good quarterback and they have a good run game. The only thing that I don't like about taking this game over is I'm going to need Kansas to score. Kansas is actually going to be starting their freshman quarterback for the second week in a row. Uh, hopefully this sparks the offense. You get some points on the board, but I don't trust Kansas' defense. That's how this game stays under. The defense is going to have to come through, but they're not going to. I'm taking this game over the total. I am with you on this one. Kansas is allowing 45 points a game. Uh, there is no defense there, and I think Iowa State could score them all to make it go over the total. Up next, number 16, Kansas State at West Virginia. The number is 46 and a half. Allie, I couldn't understand why this total was so low. You have one team, Kansas State, that scores 35. You have West Virginia scoring 32 points a game. And you know what else you have? You have coaches playing Madden on the West Virginia side. Basically, their coach takes a lot of chances. I like to call it coaches that play Madden. They'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run a fake punt in their own end and go for it on fourth down. I don't like these games going under when you have coaches that coach this way because you turn the ball over and you give teams better field position than they really need. I'm taking this game over the total. I'm going the other way. I think with West Virginia's double over double overtime with Baylor and their 56 to 10 win against Eastern Kentucky, that these stats are skewed. Um, and it's not actually what they're going to be able to put up over Kansas State. So I'm taking that game under. Number five, Georgia is at Kentucky. The total's 42 and a half. Allie, you know I love my SEC growing up in Columbus, Georgia. Spencer High School had a running back named Mo Williams that went to University of Kentucky and set a bunch of records there at Kentucky. Con using that same round running style now, that ground and pound game, and I expect this game to go under the total. Two good defenses, old SEC football, under that 42 and a half. Yep, I'm exactly with you on that one. Both of these teams are coming off a loss. While I'd like to think, you know, offenses are going to want to go head to head. These are defensive squads. I think it stays under 42 and a half. Up next, Minnesota at Maryland. This is a Friday game. The number is 61. Shoot. Allie, we don't have a lot of evidence from neither team because both teams have played one game. But I like this game to stay under the total. There's supposed to be some weather, and Maryland looks awful. They put up three points at the beginning of the game and didn't score at all. Minnesota, ah, uh, they ran up against a good Michigan team. But is it more Minnesota's defense? We don't know. Until then, I'm going to take this game under the one too high. I'm with you. I mean, let's be real. Minnesota is not going to give up 49 points to Maryland. The Terrapins put up three points to Northwestern. I think this one goes under all day long. Last one, Memphis at number seven, Cincinnati. Bearcats have been really impressive this year. The total is 55 and a half. Go for it. Allie, I like this game under the 55. Half. All year we've been seeing Memphis total sitting around 70, 72, but now we finally get a total of 55 and I'm under that total. Memphis's defense will give up big plays, but Cincinnati's offense knows how to control the ball. They know how to control the clock. They will do that. The defense will shut any Memphis tries to do. I like this game under the total. See, I liked this game under the total back when it was at 60 and a half. Now it's down to 55 and a half. I feel like it went down too far. So I'm going to take it over. Cincy defense is no joke. They did hold SMU to 13. But Memphis's offense rocks and rolls. They can put up points. So I'm going to say the number went too low. I'm going against it, and I'm taking it over. All right, guys, those are your free five total picks from Kurt Alexander and I. 